Hey everyone, it's Richard Metalfan here, bringing you guys an old school album review. And today we're going to be talking about this album's 20th anniversary, and it's from a classic death metal band. And as you can see below the title, today we're going to be talking about Heretic by Morbid Angel, the band's seventh album released on September 22nd, 2003 through Earache Records. Now, I don't think I really need to say much about Morbid Angel that hasn't been said already. Been around since the mid-late 80s. Um, have gone through some th different member changes. And the, the only original member is, of course, Trey Zagath. He's been with the band since the start. And this follows up their previous album, Gateways to Annihilation. But this Heretic exceed or live up to what Gateways has? Eh, probably, but for the most part, not really. Um, the production on this album is just very noisy and raw. I feel like it's gotten a lot weaker a little bit um the guitars sound i don't know very no noisy and raw raw but then the drumming i feel like has downgraded in terms of like the sounds and i feel like the beats on there just sound very cheaper and tiny which kind of makes cause it sound a little weak um the but the vocal work on this album from a steve tucker in fact this is the last album to have him until 2017 kingdom disdain but i think his vocals are really good um Guitar work from a uh, Trey Zagath he basically comes up with some really sick riffs. There's no denying that Trey is a, is one of the riff lore masters in death metal. Um, bass wise, I kind of wish was pr pretty. I was pretty nearly inaudible. I kind of wish you could have heard Steve more on bass wise. And drumming wise, Pete Sandoval, I think in my opinion, probably much the best death metal drummer ever in my opinion. So, without further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now, starting things off is Cleansed and Pestilence, and in parentheses, Blades of Elohim. Now, right from the get-go, you could see that things have changed a lot. And like I mentioned before, the production has gotten weaker, and the guitar riffs like sound more noisy and raw. But the good thing I will give, say this, it sort of like gives the riffs a more kind of like evil kind of demonic sound but the drumming on this track i feel like has been downgraded in terms of the sound i feel like the beats just sound really cheap and it kind of makes the blast beats not sound as powerful as previous albums and like i mentioned you can barely hear the bass at all for for the most part on this album um then we go into enshrined by grace now this is pretty much where it gets a little better it starts off with was a more rocking number occasionally erupting into sort of murky tremolo patches as pete just but sporadically blasts away in the background and then pretty much a short burst of riffs and the song opens up and it delivers the goods and pete is all over the place throwing excessive fills and workman like blasting all around the song but it's a pretty good one um next song is beneath the hollow now this is pretty much where the chaotic riffs are enhanced with sort of the weaker production but the production also does weaken the overall sound as their strength doesn't sound as menacing as the previous albums before and i feel like it's continued with that same production as in the last record i thought or actually let me rephrase that if they would have continued how it went on gateways i feel like it would have improved significantly um next song on the album is called curse the flesh now this song is equal as pa powerful well, to its predecessor and the guitars keep up in the pace that trip which in my opinion is probably Trey's best on this album and Peach drumming really gets fast in the song and it really just sounds really machine gun like fire uh praise the strength a uh, pretty good song I dig it stricken arise and now this is the only song on here that is co-written by Trey and Pete and it's notable for having sort of like a kind of like a tremolo midsection that combines with sort of like the extended drum fill which makes it almost kind of I don't know it's hard to describe it it has a kind of a cool effect to it um, next song on the album is called Place of Many Deaths. I think it's a pretty good song. And then we go into, uh, Abyssus, which is kind of like a little interlude and kind of the little things on this album, they have like some little instrumental interlude passages, which I don't really mind it, but I just think it just, there's too much kind of like makes it just like, why can't it just merge it with just one track? Um, moving on to God of Our Own Divinity. Now, this song kind of sounds very almost kind of like doom metal-like with the subtle guitar harmonies. And this song actually has a guest guitar solo from Carl Sanders of Nile, especially at the very end. And I think he does a really great job with that solo. Um, next up is Within Thy Enemy. 
Now, this song is pretty well balanced and proves that the band has their extreme chops, even if musically they were no, no longer writing on the edge of the genre's level in terms of like the technicality and the proficiency. And Steve is strong throughout and his vocals digging into his, almost like the pain as he did on Gateways. Um, Memories of the Past, another solid song. Same thing with Victorious March of Rain, the Conqueror. And I just love how they have like long song titles on here, which is just insane um and then we go into a uh, drum check which of course there's hence the title it's actually a drum solo by pete sandoval which shows off his incredible speed but nothing else and then we close things out with born again and i think born again is actually a pretty okay song good way to wrap up this album now overall heretic by morbid angel it's a pretty good album i just kind of wish production wise it would sound a little better sorry to give this album a score i'm gonna give this a solid 7.5 out of 10 so yeah that's my review of heretic by morbid angel guys let me know in the comments you guys think about it and i'll see you all in the next video and as always keep it metal